We've all had moments when we've failed to speak up for ourselves and said yes when we really wanted to say no. No matter how self-assured you are, most of us wonder if perhaps we couldn't be just a bit more assertive in situations. But here's the thing. Most of us grow up believing that assertiveness is not a desirable trait. We actually avoid being assertive. We don't want people to think that we're pushy or domineering. For most, assertiveness means being forceful and in your face, saying what you think no matter what. But that's not assertiveness, that's aggression. People often associate aggressiveness with assertiveness, but the two are extremely different. In our attempts to avoid being assertive, we can become passive, and being too passive can leave you feeling powerless. If you don't speak up for yourself, refuse to make decisions, or let others dictate your actions, people start to view you as a pushover, or someone who lacks confidence. Neither of these are advantageous, especially in the workplace. But how assertive are you? Ask yourself these questions. Are you able to say no when you don't want to do something? Do you speak up when your opinions are different from others? Or is it your way or the highway? Admitting that you might be passive or too aggressive is tough, but it's the first step in becoming more assertive. When someone is assertive, they appear and sound confident. People listen to their opinions. If you're not naturally assertive, it can take some effort, but being more assertive is not impossible. Yes, it's easier for you to swallow your feelings, scream at someone, or give them the silent treatment, but assertiveness is a much better strategy. Luckily, assertiveness is a learned action. It's learned through practice. This course will provide you with the knowledge, skills, and confidence to become more assertive, taking control of your life in the process.